This might be the craziest SBC EA have ever released. It is a mid or prime icon player pick. I'm excited to open it. Let's go. For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. I'm almost a bit nervous to open this. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm almost a bit nervous. I'm hoping we get something insane. All right, here we go. Mid or prime icon player pick. All right. Boom. There we go. What we got? Oh my god, we got Prime Butra. No way. Oh my god. <laughs> no. That's insane. Oh my god. We'll take that. That's a 2 million coin card right there. That's a 2 million coin card right there. That's insane. Oh my goodness. Thank god. Thank the Lord we got Prime Butra there because the other two were not good at all. That's such a sick card. Oh my word, that's such a sick card. That card is so sick. I am excited for this, man. I'm going to use this card in champs this week. Oh my word. I am very, very happy about that. We'll take that and hopefully we get similar look, if not better, for some of you guys on share play. This is a very expensive SBC, so it's actually quite nerve-wracking to open, I feel like. Next one. Oh, come on. Come on. Let's see. Let's see our nines. Let's see Eusebio's. Let's see some big prime icons. The next one. Here we go. Hull it! Hull it! No way! No way! Hull it! Let's go! Oh, my word! Mid hull it! <laughs> no way! Mid hull it! Prime Vidic! Prime Larson! Oh, my word! That's incredible! That is so sick. That is absolutely incredible. you love to see it. I mean, hey, Prime Vidic is a decent card. Prime Larson's a decent card, but Mid Holler is creme de la creme. That is an end game card right there. Things you love to see. Let's go. Come on. Joe's pack now. Let's see if we get Joe. Or so, sorry, Joe's pick. All right, we just got Mid Holler. We want to continue on the same level. Mid Holler was insane. Can we get something on the same level? Here we go. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Do you know what? I I, I mean, Prime Campbell is okay. Don't get me wrong. It's a usable card. And it's worth, well, like, eight 900k. So, it's not the biggest animal in the world. But that's, that is Spain without the S, realistically. Because that is... That's not great. Unfortunately. Wesley's icon player pick now. He wants Hullet or Vieira, realistically. They're the two that he wants. Hullet or Vieira. Let go. Prime Veron. Prime Zola. Mid Ferdinand. <sighs> Not great. Not great at all. That see, this is where this is where you start to think, is it worth it or not? Wesley, who would you like, my friend? Who would you like? I honestly think this card doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't look great. I think this card, again, doesn't look terrible as a cam. Also doesn't look great. Uh, he wants Rio. Understandable. I'd probably take Rio there as well. Rio or Zola. To be fair, right, it's not the end of the world for Wesley, all right, because he's got 5.2 mil and this team with moments Hullet, moments on I'm Ronaldo, moments Xavi, Team of the Year, Ramos and UCL rode to the final uh, Varane. So to be fair, not the end of the world for him. Not not the end of the world. One AF3 icon, Spiller Valg, in brackets, the Jern Elamellum. All right. That means it's a player pick. Three cards that are middle prime icons. Here we go. EA, give Thing Home something good. Come on. Oh, Eto. That's good. Saved by the last card in Eto. I saw Zola, I saw Campbell, and I got very scared. Eto saves the day. Whew! Thank the Lord. All right, Eto, thank you. You saved the day. That is, uh, that's really good actually. I think the card's still worth a good two million coins. I want to quickly double check on what Eto is currently worth. Um, mid Eto is currently worth about two point two mil. Solid over double the price of the pack so you absolutely take that that is fantastic and uh, a really nice card as well so store that in the club uh will he get into the team that's a question will he get in oh definitely that team uh, yeah no um 
What's the actual team looking like? Okay, that's numbers. What is the actual team looking like real quick? Uh, it is going to be class on grass, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah. I'd say so. I'd say put him in over Felix, personally. Um, or at least I would. Or even put him in over DeSantos, maybe. I don't know. Solid card, though. James's middle prime icon. Player pick now. EA Sports. Let's see a big card, man. I want to see a Vieira. I want to see a, uh, an R9. A Cruyff. A prime icon of one of those would be very nice. Here we go. Come on. Do you know what? I saw Rivaldo. I thought that was R9 for a second. Oh, that stinks. I thought that was R9. And I, I got so scared for like a very brief second. That unfortunately stinks. I honestly thought these would be a little bit better than, than what they have been. I thought they'd be a little bit better. But yeah, that, that kind of stinks. I can't lie. That That is a stinky... Uh, a stinky... A stinky player pick. I'm guessing it's Rivaldo or Czech here, right? I'm going to let you deal with it and choose who you want. But for me, that's Rivaldo or Czech. All right, we're on a Grealish Road to Glory account right now. He's got a Road to Glory around Jack Grealish. I respect it. I respect it. Middle prime. Realistically, I mean, nah, you just want a big card here. Doesn't matter. You're not looking for just an English player. You want a big card. Here we go. Maldini or Cro Oh, my God. Oh, my word. Prime Maldini or mid Cruyff. I think you've got to go Maldini here. I just think you have to. In my opinion, Prime Maldini is currently worth 4.5 million coins. What is mid Cruyff worth? 4 million coins. Oh my god. I honestly... So if this was me, I think this Prime Maldini card is will be probably one of the best CBs in the entire game. Like, I just do. However, Cruyff is also one of the best attackers in the entire game. Honestly, this is such a hard choice. The entire chat is torn right now. I'm seeing people going half and half for Cruyff and Maldini. You've got two cards over 4 million coins there. I would personally go Maldini. Let me know in the comments down below who you would go for out of Maldini or Cruyff. I mean, Vieri is also an option, but we're not going Vieri. All right. I think uh, I think I go Maldini, but I'm, I'm going to let him pick. I'm not going to pick. I don't, I don't want to pick. All right. I'm going to let you pick because I don't want to pick the wrong card. He chose Cruyff. Cruyff was the one he went for. Fair enough. I respect it. I honestly don't know if the last player pick can get topped. That was absolutely incredible. But the likes of a Prime Cruyff or a Prime R9 or someone like that may top it. Here we go. What are we saying, EA? What are we saying? Schweiny? That's all right. I'm not going to lie. It's not It's not incredible. It's, it's just all right. I don't actually know what this card's worth. Like, it's a good card in game. Card's worth about a million coins flat. So it's pretty much a break even in terms of opportunity cost. It's a good card. But it's it's one of those where like, you know, <laughs> you just need one. Even like a mid Vieira would have, you'd picked it over Schweiny, right? That's the thing. Another Vieri in the third slot as well. It's a good card though. It's a good card. We'll take it. We'll take it. It's, it's a very, very nice card. Schweinsteiger is very, very nice. So... We'll take that. It's a good card in game. Another one. All right. We're still looking to beat. I think the most expensive card we've had is Prime Maldini. We're still looking to beat that pick though. So Prime Maldini is the best card we've had so far. And that's what we're looking to beat. Oh, Prime Cantona. No way. That's sick. That is absolutely class. What is he worth? Oh my word. Three and a half million coins. What a card. What an absolute card. I saw Roberto Carlos and Gerrard. I was like, you know, that's all right. And then boom, prime Cantona out of nowhere. This card, by the way, I've used it myself, is class. But Cantona is just phenomenal, man. He's phenomenal in game. And that is a phenomenal pull. You absolutely love to see it. Let's go. I'm glad as well because I feel like we're not just getting the same icons over and over again. I mean, we've had a couple of Vieris, but I feel like we're getting different icons a lot, which is fantastic. So at least it's not just the same ones over and over again. And that is a fantastic dub, boss man. Things you love to see right there. Prime Cantona in the club. That's an endgame striker for you right there. Is he getting into the team? That's a question. Mate, what an upgrade. What an upgrade. That is that is that is one hell of an upgrade right there. That is one hell of an upgrade. Goodbye, base Cantona. Oh, I've got to get rid of the base Cantona first. 
But goodbye base Cantona and hello prime Cantona. That is that is one hell of an upgrade. Things you absolutely love to see right there. Beautiful. Jadison's mid or prime or prime or mid I call player pick. Hopefully we can get him something good or he can get something good. He's opening it, not me. All right, here we go. Here we go. I tell you what, honestly, that Vidic at the end has kind of saved it. Rykard is not garbage, but not great. Hierro is pretty garbage. That Vidic at the end has saved it, to be honest, because that's that's still an 800k card, and it's a good centre-back as well. And it's honestly a centre-back that will be useful for the rest of the game, in my opinion. Um, I think that's class. So it's not a great pick, but that Vidic has saved it from being a 1 out of 10 to at least like a 7 out of 10, I feel like. Um, or a six and a half out of ten. So we'll take that. It's not too bad. A Mads player pick now. Come on. Let's see a big prime. I feel like as long as you get at least one decent prime, it's not the worst in the world, you know? And and most primes that are good are endgame as well. Stoichkov. Stoich is not bad, you know? It's not great, but it's not bad. SCN's also okay. Cole is a bit meh. Prime Cole would have been a lot nicer. Stoich is not too bad, you know? Stoich is not too bad. I feel like I feel like Stoich is probably the pick there. You know, start him left wing, play him striker in game. No one really amazing there, though, which is kind of frustrating. I wish there was like a big card there. Uh, I'm not sure who I'm at once. Um, I would personally take Stoich, but I can understand the other picks as well. Another middle prime now for Red United. He's already got mid Zidane in the trade, untradeable in the club. So we're not looking for Zidane, but we're looking for anyone else, realistically. What are we saying, EA? All right, here we go. Henri! No way! Oh, my word. No, don't even troll. Don't even troll me right now. Don't even troll me. Don't... Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, you take Henri right now. You take Henri right now. You take Henri right now. What is Henri worth? That's huge, man. That is absolutely huge. Henri is worth about 2.2 million coins. Fantastic. What a card that is, man. 94 pace, 90 dribbling, 91 shooting... Things that you absolutely love to see right there. And I think definitely gets in the team over Hugo Sanchez as well. So that is absolutely phenomenal. We love that. Morty's pack now. Come on, Morty. Let's go. Come on. Oh. It, it's a Zola. Oh. That is unfortunate. It is a Zola um, pick right there. Because Shear and Overmars just aren't good enough. That That is a big L, unfortunately. That's really unfortunate. All right, Devin's primal mid icon player pick. He's got, I think, mid Garincha and mid Blanc and tradable already. Here we go. That's rough, man. I think that might be the worse than the last one. I think the only no, I was gonna say it's not. I think I, I get this card confused with Van Basten all the time because Van Basten actually has nice in games, but Close has got really bad agility and balance. He's kind of just a heading merchant. I really, I think. That is unfortunate, man. That is really unfortunate.